Google is finally pushing an update for its Google TV interface that can be found on devices such as the Chromecast TV and quite a number of smart TVs on the market. Now this update is nothing crazy, but it does add a few extra added aspects that I think a lot of you are going to enjoy. And with how much Amazon has tweaked its interface and tweaked its settings, I think it's about time Google finally tries to do something with the Chromecast TV, which I know a lot of you really like. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button right down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. And like always, I will be answering all of your questions for the first hour to two hours of this video. So comment down below. You'll even have a chance to be featured in my next video. Today's comment comes from Janice Brown, who said they are also doing this to Disney Plus, and she's referring to password restrictions. I haven't heard of anything like that yet on Disney Plus, Janice, but I'll keep looking into it and seeing what I can find. Let's get into this brand new Chromecast TV update. Now we're gonna be looking at the update and all of its changes, but today the information comes from AFTV News. I just like to shout them out since they do so much great work. If you guys want, you can go ahead and visit their website as well. And there's some moderate changes to the front interface. So we're gonna get right into it. And I just wanna explain one by one what has been changed. And we'll go through the update to see if it's actually been pushed yet, because it should be getting pushed to your device, my device within the next week. So let's go ahead and head over to our device. So right now I'm on the Chromecast. I can't remember if this is the HD. Okay, this is the 4K Chromecast. So uh, one of the, the higher models. Let me go ahead and click back here. Okay, so I have not updated the device yet. Oh. Okay, have you ever had to sneeze and then you don't have to sneeze? I'm gonna sneeze pretty soon. Okay. Okay, so here are all the changes that are being made to your Chromecast TV or Google TV interface device. Like I said, a lot of smart TVs also have this. So the first thing we have to talk about is right below here, we have the pop popular movies and shows section. Now they are lowering this all the way down to the bottom. Why are they doing this? I'm not 100% sure. Maybe it's just uh, a not super popular section, but they're going to be lowering the location of this, uh, I guess, scrolling pinwheel uh, recommendation tab. Now with lowering that, they're actually adding a few new tabs as well. They'll be adding a family section. Now the family section is going to be recommending G and PG content for you from different streaming apps you have. So if you have Disney Plus, if you have Prime Video, if you have Tubi, etc., it's going to be offering you a variety of different shows and movies that you can watch off of those services basically that are PG or G rated. And the second category they are adding is an Espanol category. Now, if you don't know, I actually have a Spanish translation channel. So if you speak Spanish, you can go ahead and look under my other channels. It's UGT Espanol, but they're adding an Espanol section, which is going to give you Spanish recommended recommendations. So if you like more than just subtitles in Spanish and you want complete Spanish voiceover content, or complete Spanish movies, they're also gonna be making that available very shortly as well for users to go ahead and play around with. Now there's two other major changes right now. The first one is this search bar at the very top. You guys see where the search bar is right now. So it's right by the for you. You can see we click on it, it goes to search. They are going to be moving that all the way to the right. So the search bar is now gonna be found, it should be just past library. Um, why they're changing that? I, I, don't, I really don't know, but either way, they're going to be moving it to the right, I guess, not really a huge deal. And the last and final change is finally a dedicated settings button. So right now to get to settings, we have to click over to our account and we have to click on settings. So you see that right there. They're now going to be like the fight or I guess like the Nvidia shield and some of those other devices where it just has the dedicated gear button right on this top scrolling menu. It's one of those things that just saves you one extra click. And I think it just makes a little bit of a difference. It's not a crazy big deal. Now for some of the TVs that run this interface includes Hisense, Philips, Sony, and TLC. There's tons of different versions of those that run the Google TV interface. What I wanna do is now is we're gonna go into our settings and we're gonna to try to update our system and see if we actually have this operating system. Update, yeah. So we're just gonna scroll to here. We're gonna scroll down until we find where is our update here. Should be under about system update. We're gonna click on it and let's see if the update has been pushed for me yet. I haven't updated this in a while. So I know there's gonna be some sort of update, but let's see. So this is an old one. So we're gonna do this one first and then we'll see if we can get into the other one. Okay, so the update is all done. Now it looks like this initial update did not change it as we still see the search tab 
over here and we don't have the, the settings tab yet. So now I want to go and see if there's another update because again, I haven't used this device in what feels like forever. So let's go ahead and repeat the process. We'll go here, we'll go system, we'll go about, we'll go blah, 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 blah. Where is it? System updates. There's got to be another update. There's no way. Okay, and it looks like my system is up to date, so I won't be able to show you those physical changes yet. But soon coming in the future, I will make a video showing you what those changes look like. And like always, guys, if you want to support the content down below, there's a link for upgradeguy.link slash expressvpn. That'll bring you to my dedicated VPN discount page where you can get 30 days free and get a discount, get your money back at any time. It supports me. I get a kickback. Um, and you also get a great service out of it that will help protect your security. We also have our first product available, which is a little fully loaded USB die cut sticker. I tried to make it interesting. This is not going to me. Actually, all of the profits go towards tech for kids. So I'll be donating all the money at the end of the year. And I'll even be matching up to $1,000 on any products bought. And that will be going directly to buy tech for kids that can't afford it. So you're also supporting a really great cause. And once we get a little bit closer to the end of the year, we'll announce the amount of money. I'll show the proof through the store, et cetera. So you guys know that I'm giving the money away because I want you guys to, to actually see that I'm giving it to a correct cause. And like always, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you checking out the content and I'll see you in the next one.